And here at home, no severe weather, just a beautiful, mild, but windy day at the Cleveland Metro Parks Brexville Reservation. Lots of people out walking with their dogs, having fun with the kids. <laughs> Shorts weather for many. A sure sign of spring, or we like to say fall spring. <laughs> Can we keep it around? Jason, I, I <laughs> no. think a lot of people are happy with what you did today and yesterday. They want to know, can we get a little more of that? You know, there are a few requests in the request bowl, you know, on my desk. <laughs> of, Jason, we want spring. We want it right now. We don't want it to go anywhere, and we want it to stay as long as possible. So, you know, we, we try to do what we can to bring all the sunshine and warmer weather to northeast Ohio, and I have to say it was absolutely stunning. Despite the wind, again, wind gusts peaking over 50 miles per hour today, we're now looking ahead at our next system poison move to northeast Ohio overnight tonight through tomorrow with the return of winter. So let's dive right in right now. You can see here, this is what it looks like on radar right now. You see, so we also have some color contours on here with wind, winter weather advisories back over towards Iowa and also northern uh, Illinois and even southern Wisconsin, Michigan right now. You can also see we still have some wind advisories in effect from uh, central, at least uh, north central uh, uh, Ohio over towards uh, western Pennsylvania at this hour. But the target zone for today, yesterday it was Iowa. They're dealing with more snow uh, headed to their region over the next 24 hours, but the target zone now is back towards uh, Arkansas, where they have a tornado watch in effect and also multiple tornado warnings as well. So if you're with me on Friday night and we talked about it yesterday as well, this system is coming a bit more farther south and this is what's going to be moving again over our area over the next few hours. Several hours, I should say. So this is the area of low pressure right now. Center it back towards the south and west of Arkansas. Once the system gets on the move, that's when we start to see the biggest change over here in northeast Ohio. All of this weather here that you see that tropical like weather is going to be moving out and we'll have more of that colder air moving on in for tomorrow afternoon through Tuesday. So this is sort of the line that we're going to see come right across us here in northeast Ohio by late tonight. So what does that look like? Winds changing. They're going to uh, subside a little bit as well overnight tonight. And also it's going to allow for this system to cruise right on into the region, turning that rain expected overnight tonight into mixed precipitation. So your national design bar hour by hour forecast say, hey, we start things out a little bit more quieter overnight tonight. Temperatures again settling into the 40s for some 50s for others. See there with Dover, that system is stalling. At least that frontal boundary is going to stall for them down there. This is why they're standing elevated for this hour. Colder weather up to the north. You can see there from the lakeshore. Northwest winds coming in about 5 miles per hour around 10 p.m. for tonight. And then boom, the rain starts to move in after midnight tonight. Some of it, again, my friends, could be heavy at times, waking for a very messy commute. Uh, surface temperatures likely to fur right along the freezing mark. So could we experience a little bit of mixed precipitation early tomorrow morning? I think it is going to be likely there. But then, then again, down south, we're still dealing with some of that mild conditions. Once the low passes, that's when everyone will likely start to cruise back down in terms of their temperatures. But for tomorrow, we could have some peaks where it, things get really quiet and things stay relatively warm again down south. They're still with rain down there, mixed precipitation up towards the north. So you're going to see a spread that happens tomorrow. After in the afternoon, the low fully passes. The frontal boundary is out of here. It's gone. And then that's when we start to power on a little bit of the lake effect snow showers late Monday night heading to early Tuesday. I think by the time we go to bed, we'll still be seeing some bands of snow moving on through with temperatures cruising right on down. Cold again, winter returns into the 20s by the time we wake up for Tuesday morning. So how much rainfall are we expecting? This is the major thing that we're looking at over the next 24 hours. Rain showers at least likely to put down anywhere from maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch, maybe some isolated amounts up to an inch, maybe inch and a quarter, maybe inch and a half. It just kind of depends where the heaviest rainfall falls. And if the grounds get soaked in it, it's just going to start to run off there. And you can likely see a little bit of flooding as well. The big picture past tomorrow heading in towards the middle portion of the late week, we quiet things down by Tuesday, Wednesday, perhaps even more for the most part on Thursday. High pressure moves back in. Late Thursday, we start to increase our cloud cover, and then we start looking at our next system here. So this is Wednesday. Again, mainly quiet across northeast Ohio. Much of the, much of the Buckeye State is quiet as well. Thursday, again, quiet then that's when the next system moves on in. That's where we're talking about the return of mixed precipitation and also snow showers for next Saturday. Tale of two seasons. You can see in your union home mortgage seven day again, 40s untapped and then falling throughout the afternoon for tomorrow. AM lake effect snow likely lingering on Tuesday. Quiet things for Wednesday, Thursday, mid 40s expected rain to snow mix on Friday. Winter returns by Saturday and I think we start to creep up just a little bit okay. despite being below average next Sunday, Lena. All right. Thanks, Jason.